Photo Tutorial for Beginners Hey guys! Today I'm going to be showing you how you can use Photo, which is a free online software to design your t-shirts, your merchandise to sell on Redbubble or Amazon. Therefore, let's begin. You'll start by visiting Photoshop Wacom, and the editor will open if you simply select Photo Wacom. But since this is simply your welcome page, you're just going to go to Photo Wacom and click on New Project. Once you click on it, you will see that you can name your project and choose the size of your project on the left. Therefore, if you're generating stuff, you're generally going to be working in inches whether you're working in pixels or inches. Therefore, you will choose whatever size you want your design to be. Let's suppose our design is roughly 15 by 15 inches, and then your DPI is listed below that. DPI essentially refers to the print or design quality of your project. You can now choose your background's color from black, white, transparent, or custom. This is a very fantastic alternative, especially if you're working with t-shirts and mugs, where it can look extremely strange to have a black or white background behind your vector image or graphic design. They also provide a transparent background because of this. Now that we're designing a t-shirt, we'll just stick with white. You're just going to do that right now. You can see that there are a few preset designs available, but we won't use any of them. Now, you can see that they also have their print sizes underneath that. They have a pixel size for that. So if you want it to look like a social media Facebook cover, you can. There are therefore numerous sizes from which to choose. For instance, you have print designs if you want a wallet photo or if you want to stop printing. As a result, you can choose from three different types of paper, a four paper, B5 paper, a letter, a ledger, or even a business card. We'll simply click create here to create a blank document for us to work on. You can see many menu selections up here at the top and your tools are on the left. Therefore, if you click on file, new open will appear. The top has all the essential components, and here you can see the layers, so that's wonderful to see. You have your move tool now if you glance to the left first. V has chosen this as well, so that's just your standard mouse cursor, and it's employed to move objects. You can use it to simply move items around in your design. So what we're going to do is just add an image or a shape right now. Therefore, we inserted this rectangle. I'm just going to demonstrate to you how to move the little triangles once you've added that. We'll click again on the mouse. Currently, you can move this one if you click on it. As a result, be careful to click the shapes from the right side. You can see your layers over here at the bottom right, and those will indicate which object you will be clicking on. Additionally, you can make an item hide if you don't want to see it right now, if you're developing something else, or for any other reason. When you click on an item, blending choices show that let you choose which pixels to duplicate, layer, duplicate into, and other possibilities. You may therefore simply click on it from here to have it blend in. As a result, you can see that there are numerous solutions available to you. In order to make it less opaque and more of a smudgy shape, you can start by using the basic blending options. Then there are textures and contouring. Say you want to add some texture, for example. You are also able to accomplish it. We can now give an outside glow if we add some texture. We can add pattern overlays, gradient overlays, color overlays. We can also make it look like satin. Therefore, Utopia offers a good option with that kind of layering technique. I'm going to click and then. Okay, now that you can see it, our shape has this gradient applied to it. As you can see, there is also a rectangular choose option on the left. So that's just if you want to rearrange certain things. So by simply clicking on this, you can reorder items. You can see a small arrow beneath your magic wand, which is located beneath that. As a result, you can see that there is a magic wand, a rabbit selection, and an object selection. The magic wand will enable you to modify the size, hardness, thickness, and other properties of this tiny image as we click on quick selection, and so on. 
You can modify the crop, the perspective, and the slice because you have a crop tool. Your design and image can be measured. You also have tools to select sizes and other things. Now below that, you have I'm just going to erase this. After that, you may add any kind of gradient you like with your gradient tool. You may choose the gradient's colors over here, and then you have access to your tiny coloring tool. The Zoo Text Pen, a general movement tool, a rectangle tool, and a hand tool are all located below that. Thus, your hand tool will only be used to assist you while you drag around the screen. And now we're going to begin developing the real t-shirt print. Therefore, let's begin. I've just taken this empty layer so we can begin working on our t-shirt design. I have removed all I did previously, and we will. What sort of t-shirt will we produce, then? I feel the urge to write. On my t-shirt, Judy lives here. In order to open this, I'm going to pick the text by clicking on the T on the left of the screen. You guys might be wondering how such a potent software is offered for free at this point. Well, they run side-by-side -side display advertisements, which is how they're able to keep their website free to access, which is a big reason why this is available for free. And I believe that you should use this as an alternative to Adobe Photoshop, because it has all of the same capabilities and is just as effective. It does include all the features that any extremely expensive commercial software would have. Thus, I think you should really take this software and don't forget its value. Consequently, we're going to begin writing in our text box. Therefore, we will enlarge the pixels. Let's simply pretend that from this point forward, Judy resides in this location. I'm going to reduce the size of my pixels. I'm going to click on the Move tool right now. I'm going to move this. I'm going to return to the text now, and I'm going to wrap it. In other words, wrapping will give it a distinct kind of design aspect. I want to build it like this, and then I'm going to probably play something deleted, like a vector image of a house or something, so you can choose how big you want it. You might also like one of the many alternative designs. So you can create it in this manner. There are numerous things you could do. The arc, in my opinion, works well for this kind of design. You may also do this, but I don't believe you ought to at this time. I believe that this is sufficient and you may now choose the color. As a result, I love pink. We'll choose the stroke color and I'm going to choose pink. The text will now be positioned in the page's middle. As you can see, a red line will form as you reach the center. You can use it to direct your design. After completing that, you may now add an image from your gallery. Because everything you need to design something like a vector image is present here, you can do that or even design something. Please wait a moment as I add a PNG file of a house that I have. So now that I've added this small image of a house, I'm going to erase any corners that I don't want, undo that, Make sure to do it neatly and finish up. I've already selected the eraser tool. I completely removed it. Naturally, there might be a few stray bits and pieces, so I'll just redo that. You may construct your t-shirt design by looking at this, removing it, and then printing it. With this software, you can now accomplish a lot more. So that you guys have a broad concept of how to use their tools, I merely showed you guys this sample. I sincerely hope you all enjoyed the video and were able to use Topia to generate all of your designs at no cost. And I'll see you all in the following video.